More people around the world are now realizing that tackling hunger is fundamental to achieving uh, the Millennium uh, Development Goals. I think, and I'm sure you will agree, that it is time that we work together to remove the scourge of hunger from the face of the earth. The world is watching and it's expecting results. It's definitely one of the greatest embarrassments of our times. And you know, we've been saying this for a long time, uh, but we've not done enough about it over the last few decades. And I think that's sort of coming home to roost right now. Today we're stuck with a horrible figure that there's one billion people chronically hungry in the world. If we have the will, um, we can do it, and we can achieve those Millennium Goals by 2015. One billion is a small word. It's a thousand million. We think it's intolerable, and the purpose of the Hunger Secretariat is to galvanise our action to make sure that we can do something about it over the coming years. Now, despite many uh, success stories uh, and good stories, Unfortunately, the world hunger situation has got worse rather than better in recent years. And today, there are over, as Genesis said, one billion chronically uh, hungry people in the world. And the first millennium uh, development goal, having hunger by 2015, uh, now looks so far off target that massive uh, sustained efforts, political uh, recommitments, and action on international promises are needed across the globe uh, if we are to make a serious dent uh, on this intolerable situation uh, over the coming five years. The numbers in the last three years demonstrate the irrefutable reality that the past few years has been a disastrous period for world hunger and food security. The combined effects of the high food price crisis, I, I refuse to call it the food crisis because it was a food crisis only for a certain part of the global population and not for all of us of 2007-2008, followed by the uh, worldwide financial economic crisis, added about 105 million people in the ranks of undernourished of this world. One billion, 20 million, according to our latest estimates. That's one person in six. It would take 31 years and eight months without a rest, without sleep, to enumerate one billion people at the rate of one per second. That's an indication of the horror. I think that there's no question that uh, this is a long-term neglect of agriculture. That's really what's at the heart of it. The international governance of agriculture and food security has been unable to translate increases in global productivity and the potential in increases in global productivity into um, reductions in hunger. What we hope to uh, add momentum to in, our, in, in as best we can in Goethe through the Hunger Secretariat is that there will be a change of mindset. We believe that smallholder agriculture is the essential and missing element to addressing hunger and income poverty and the global community needs to focus not only on meeting the immediate needs of those of those most vulnerable but also to support investments by smallholder farmers to increase the resilience of their livelihoods. Increasing access by smallholder farmers to markets is a crucial component to increasing their livelihood security. Actually, what needs to be done is very simple. We know what needs to be done. Uh, we, uh, the human race is not very good at learning uh, from our mistakes, We, from other people's mistakes. We want to make the, uh, our own mistakes and repeat them. So um, Brazil, for example, um, Brazil redu in the northeast of Brazil, which is the poorest part of Brazil, they were able to uh, pretty much eliminate malnutrition, uh, reduce it from 22% to 6% in the space of less than a decade. And if you, can reduce, if you can reduce malnutrition in the northeast of Brazil, let me assure you, you can reduce it anywhere. So what needs to be done is known. The, que the question is, are we ready to do it? So I think from that point of view, what Gorta is doing here, the secretariat you're launching is very timely as we lead up to the MDG summit. Uh, Ireland has a long history of working on these issues and I'm really uh, very thrilled that uh, Gorta has taken the initiative. If there's anything that we can do from our side, we're very, very happy to join hands. Uh, Dennis and Brian and people like Kevin who are you know, pioneers of this field are here today. The Gorta Hunger Secretariat is being established by the board of Gorta to spearhead our determination to galvanize our own activities and anybody that we can influence around the world, in Ireland and abroad, to make hunger history. 
Goethe's Hunger Secretariat is a welcome new development in advancing the recommendations of the Hung Irish Hunger Task Force. And in providing this new forum, it is vital that alliances are built up and maintained with others, both here in Ireland and abroad, uh, so that the full potential of Irish civil society organisations can be harnessed behind this common cause. And I know that Goethe are endeavouring uh, and working on that and building such alliances. Uh, and of course, we do know that other uh, NGOs are work working um, tirelessly also to address the hunger issue and share a common vision with Goethe in working towards a world in which people have the opportunities to build their own prosperity without being dragged down uh, by all pervasive hunger and undernutrition. We are proud of their contribution and know that the Irish people are fully behind and support their work. Some of the most inspiring work in the field of international development has happened through Irish uh, people, um, Irish government support. So it's been a leader in the field. There's no question about it, not just on hunger. Hunger has a pernicious effect on development. Hungry people can't lift themselves out of poverty. The real issue today is, you know, what, what is it that this, the ODA volumes from Ireland, which we know have significantly dropped in the last year or so, uh, and we fully understand the reasons for it, but, but as we head towards the summit, I think we have to pause and reflect on how important it is to turn this around. The case for Ireland to step up really is very consistent with its long-term long-standing uh, long support to human rights, to gender empowerment, to the fight against inequality, the fight for justice. We have always dreamed of a world free of hunger, a world in which people and families and their communities would have the opportunities to build their own prosperity without being pulled down again and again and again by all pervasive hunger and undernutrition and shocks to their system. And the economy, I mean, of course the economy is in trouble, but uh, there are economies, bigger economies like Spain, UK, and the United States who are in as much, if not deeper trouble. But their commitment has remained unshaken to the 0 0.7. I'm very happy that Minister Martin himself has announced that they will be keeping this promise by 2015. And we always say that, you know, if you break a promise, it's already a sin. But if you break a promise to poor people, that borders on a crime.